Hi, my name is Di Mitchell, Portfolio Advisor for the Hair and Beauty Sector here at City and Guilds. I'm going to introduce you the sample academic planner for the Level 3 Advanced Technical Diploma in Media Makeup Artistry. Looking at the sample academic planner, you will see three terms shown in red, blue and green. The purpose of this sample academic planner is to highlight the key dates that you need to prepare your learners for their final assessments. Ensuring that your delivery model fully prepares the learners for the practical end synoptic assessment and knowledge test. The synoptical practical assessment and knowledge test will only cover the mandatory units. So when planning your schemes of work, these units need to be prioritised in the first two terms. Mandatory units for this qualification being working in the film and TV and theatre industry, fashion and photographic makeup, media makeup and creative hair design, historical hair and makeup, body art, camouflage makeup, and the creation and presentation of a lookbook and industry portfolio. Looking now at the academic planner, term one. To prepare your learners for these key assessment dates, we would suggest you deliver in the first term, working in TV and film, fashion and photographic makeup, media makeup and creative hair design, and body art. To be most efficient in your delivery, we would recommend that you embed the creation of a lookbook unit within your technical delivery of the mandatory units. We would suggest that the delivery of historical hair and makeup and camouflage makeup units would be left until term two. Just before Christmas, we would suggest that you start to rank your learners on their practical skills by planning formative assessment weeks and carrying out mock practical synoptic assessments. Term two, continue to deliver working in TV and film, fashion and photographic makeup, media makeup and creative hair design, body art, and now start to deliver the skills and knowledge of historical hair and makeup and camouflage makeup. Week 18, City and Guilds will release to centres the requirements for the final practical assessment. This window of opportunity is now open and you will have 12 weeks for your learners to complete this practical assessment. These results need to be submitted to City and Guilds by week 30. Term 3. Week 25 would be the first opportunity for your learners to sit the externally set and externally marked knowledge test. Week 33 being the second opportunity. Remembering that your learners would only have one opportunity for resit if they do not pass on their first attempt. If your learners sit their knowledge test in week 25, the results will be communicated back to you as a centre on week 30. If any of your learners do not pass, then they would have the resit opportunity on week 33. By term three, most of your delivery of the mandatory skills should now be complete. So you now need to start the delivery of your optional units. But this would always depend on the optional unit that you have chosen as it may be more efficient, depending on the requirements of the unit, to deliver alongside the mandatory units. But we would suggest the assessment of this unit is not complete until Term 3, keeping the learners engaged and on programme. The results of these units need to be submitted to City and Guilds by Week 33. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you would like any further information, please contact me or your business manager or you will find more information on our website www.cityandguilds.com forward slash techback. Thank you.